Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a classic French nails. As you can see on the screen, they look really pretty and we are going to do it together. So before I start with the video, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell notifications. Now let's begin with the video. Before we start with the sculpting, I wanted to show you how to prep a brand new acrylic Kolinsky brush. So I recently bought a new brush and I thought um, uh, it's the best time to add a tutorial on how to prep your brush in this video. So here as you can see the brushes comes in a tube like plastic tube like thing uh, and you can open it and then you can take out your brush and when you take out the brush as you can see there is a pipe plastic pipe to protect the bristles from uh, you know the uh, uh, shipping time so you remove that and once you remove it uh, this is how your uh, bristle should be so first you can just gently rub it in between your fingers and open the entire bristles like this okay so when you do this since i have a white background you don't see it there is a white powdery thing uh, which comes out of the bristles which we have to remove completely this is a kind of a glue uh, that the manufacturers uses to hold the bristles together so that it doesn't get damaged during the transfer transportation part okay once you remove all of it then you can take a little monomer on a dipping dish and then you can prime the brush and remember for some brands they may have like excess glue on it so you can also use a orange wood stick to scrape off those glue uh, otherwise um, uh, you just have to do what i just showed okay now i dipped it in the monomer and uh, i made sure that uh, the brush is completely soaked in the monomer and now this brush is ready for product application or picking up the bead so i'm just quickly going to show you how i am going to pick up a bead here so first you dip your mon uh, brush in the monomer then you are going to touch the powder dab like a uh, two or three times and then you have your perfect bead ready to go so now coming back to our uh, <coughs> actual extension process so here today i'm using a nail foam to do my nail extension so i use both nail foams and tips my go to method is nail foams because nail foams gives like a more compact shape and uh, it's less work uh, as you know we have to prep and blend the tip measure the tip so all those steps will get eliminated when you're using a foam so here i'm attaching a foam uh, i'm going to show you the thumbnails because it's easy for me to show the thumb nails on camera rather than the other fingers okay so i fit the foam here uh, the foam has to be really straight and uh, regarding the dry manicure i have already done the dry manicure uh, off camera if you wanted to see how to do dry manicure you can check out any other video almost all my videos have the dry manicure steps included so now i am using a pinkish acrylic powder so this is a cover pink acrylic color, uh, color uh, powder from a brand called tnt and i'm using the same monomer from the same brand and uh, as you have seen first i picked up a bead i placed placed it right uh, at the center of my nail i did not put it on top of the nail i put it at the edge of my nail and then i moved it side to side i made the product connect both the corners and then i started pulling out the excess towards the free edge to create the length and shape of my nails okay so here uh, since we are using the forms we don't have like a base so we are supposed to build the uh, entire architecture like the length shape everything with our brush okay so that's the reason whenever we do nails using nail forms it's called nail sculpting okay so first bead we completed now i picked up a second bead placed it right behind the first one and now if you're a beginner and don't know how to like uh, you know build up the thickness so always you can take number of beads okay so now when i do i do a three bead application method or maybe a two bead application method if you are a beginner instead of three bead you can also use a four bead technique five bead technique it doesn't matter as long as you have a good result okay so here this is the third bead that is our cuticle bead i placed it a little far from the cuticle and then i pushed back and then made it go closer to the skin and then immediately started blending so you have to work a little faster or you have to buy a slow setting monomer so that you have that extra time to work with the product okay if you are a beginner look for a slow setting monomer so that the powder doesn't get uh, dry halfway through you get extra time 
okay so now we have done with the thumb finger so i decided to show you one more time so now i'm doing the middle finger okay so again the same process i'm following uh, just picked up a bead put it in the center of the nail plate and then i tried to move it side to side and connected the product with uh, the na uh, nail plate and then the excess i'm pulling um, down and creating the length and the shape that i wanted so like i said here it's a little off camera but you have already seen how i did the uh, thumbnail here i'm going to move focus on the second and third bead okay that's why i wanted to show you this finger okay so just be like take your time when you're building the nail you have to give more attention for product application and then you don't have to spend so much time on filing and shaping okay so now i picked up the second bead as you can see i placed it right behind and then moved it side to side and then blended and by any chance if you think your first bead is not thick enough you can always go back take another bead put it on top of uh, or to put it on the exact same place and then blend it so that way you can build up the thickness okay so here third bead so now see how i'm holding my fingers it's always downward pointing okay so when we place the bead it will not go back it will always be coming down because of the gravity okay so now we have finished the application and it's time for us to file and shape so for filing and shaping i'm using a 180 grit and uh, since we use the forms uh, the side walls of the nails won't be perfect okay so if you are using a tip then we have like a different crisp uh, side walls but since we use the foam uh, we adjusted the sides with the brush brush so it won't be very clean so we start with the side filing and i also do the uh, free edge filing a little bit so this is like a rough filing we are just defining the boundaries and then once we are done with the overall filing we can come back and fix any uh, you know mistakes we may have okay so here again uh, since i'm doing my own nails i can't give support to the nail plate but when i do someone else's nail i use my fingers to support the nail so that it's not giving a lot of friction on the nail plate okay otherwise the client may feel like sore fingers like at least for the day uh, so to avoid that you can use your fingers to hold and then you can move the file so it doesn't uh, when you move the file it won't move the fingernail also okay so now we have finished the filing so i just wanted to wanted you to see the architecture so after filing you look uh, at the nails in this angle and then if you see if it looks like a pipe then that's a good filing and if you see any side poking out then you can go back and buff it down and then look at the uh, free edge thickness it should always be near to a credit card thickness okay so now we finished all the filing of all nails and then i dusted off and then i also buffed it the buffer we use because we want a little smoother uh, surface for the uh, gel polish application okay so i'm just checking all the free edge c curve area so if you see any uh, area like um, have any area having like a little bit of uh, uneven area then you can again use the file to just buff and level it up okay so now we are done with uh, the filing shaping and buffing next is we start with our french tip application so here i'm not applying any products so there are people uh, who apply a base coat first so that they have like a more smooth uh, base that is totally fine you can apply a thin layer of base coat cure it wipe the tacky layer off and then you can start drawing your designs that is also fine uh, but <clears throat> here i did not apply any base coat or anything and i did not make my nails super shine uh, i mean su super smooth also uh, so here i'm using a gel paint it's not gel polish it's a gel paint from the brand called shills so i started drawing a uh, an alphabet a as you can see and then i'm going to fill the corners so drawing french nails is a little tricky there are multiple ways to do it this is the classic way of drawing it so if you notice i did not fast forward uh, the video so that you know how much time it takes okay there are people who are like really fast with this technique i'm not super fast i am slow uh, so every line i draw i am not breathing to be frank okay <laughs> so um uh, now after Uh, filling the corners uh, if you see i just tried to blend the corners and create like a soft 
bended uh, corner and then I started filling the rest of the area you can use a different brush to fill up these uh, areas um, on the later nails I used another brush to fill it in the areas because it was taking so much time because this brush is actually very tiny so it's it takes more time but if you use like a little more thicker brush to fill in the areas then you can do but this fine lines that I'm doing just make sure that you're using a good liner brush to do this part okay once you are happy with the uh, French lines then you can send it for curing uh, just make sure that you are sending it for curing at least 60 seconds and after that um, you can top it off uh, with a no wipe top coat here I am using Shills diamond top coat you can use any uh, top coat to seal the design uh, and after curing the design I again do a little bit of filing okay so I use the same uh, I don't think I have the clip here but I just wanted to uh, explain that part after curing I take my 180 grit side file and then I file the uh, free edge only the C curve area I just file it and make sure that uh, my white polish is not peeling off in the future okay so here again I wanted to add something extra so I applied a little uh, stone glue and added a big bow and I used a very little glue and the bow did not last more than a day but if you're doing something like this uh, heavy ones then use builder gel or more quantity um, uh, stone glue to other this thing okay so with that uh, our tutorial ends here I hope you guys like this video I totally loved this design it was so pretty and I love this acrylic color also if you wanted to know the products I used you can find it in the description box and with that uh, I'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy bye bye